Well, it's, I think it's going to be nice to see Zari. She's, a, she's still a tough, guarded person who's seen a lot, but she's taken in these people as her family and, and got to know them through the, through the time loop episode hundreds of times. So um, I think it's we're going to get to see kind of her, her character evolve in terms of showing parts of her that we haven't seen yet because she is close to these people and they're her family, which means that she's going to defend them very vigorously. Yeah. So, uh, the, the Beck side of the world, uh, what did you learn as an actress uh, in dealing with all the, the effects? Not, the the non-natural in real um, life stuff. Not, well, you know, I was on set the other day and I was using my powers. I was doing all my, I was doing a big scene with a lot of wind and I just thought, wow, this time last year I remember getting on set and seeing Brandon jump up in his Adam suit and then run out of frame and I was like, what? What? Was that? And he's like, oh, I flew away. I'm like, what? <laughs> um, so it's it is interesting how accustomed I have to uh, accustomed I've become to, to doing it. I'm just like choo, 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 now. Um, but it's fun. It's it's actually I usually don't watch myself. Uh, I usually don't watch my work. But this show because so much happens in post, it's it's fun to see how they how they do this. Are you tempted to make like noises with your mouth when you're like? <laughs> oh, what do what made you think that? <laughs> Do you know what I do do when I fight, when I'm like doing, you know, a punching scene or whatever? I, I go like, <laughs> yeah, which do they have to not right. That? Yeah, well, they, they're like, please don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I mean, she's still, I think fundamentally she's a bleeding heart covered up by a lot of sarcasm and there's a, she, her impulse is to protect herself because of where she comes from and what she's, how she's seen the world play out in the future uh, and how many people have become persecuted, including herself and her family. So it's not, it's not that we're seeing, going to see a wildly different side of her personality, but I do think her guard is down in front of the legends. When she meets new people, when she meets the fugitives, I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be back up. But again, she's a bleeding heart, so uh, I think she's going to see a lot of parallels between these magical fugitives and the metas that she saw being persecuted in 2042, just because they were different. So I think she's she's going to butt heads with Constantine over that. Now that you've sort of settled into you know, your character's skin, uh, when you are you know, coming back for something new. How, how do you make each performance, you know, not feel like the same? Or how do you like push as an actor your character? To play? Yeah. I mean, what's great about our show, which I think is different than some of the other Arrowverse, is that we, like, for instance, a time loop episode is so different. Like, we're we're, out, we're allowed to kind of go outside the box in a way that um, most shows aren't. So some of the writing affords me that. Um, but yeah, it's. I think it's about always doing. And you know, even if it's sort of a little scene, always think checking back in about like where my emotional state is and, and you know what what's going on for Zari in that moment, and that that keeps it from the moment. Any other characters, actors, the Arrowverse in general that you like to work with? Um, I love Emily from Arrow, and I feel like she and Zari would really get on Felicity and, and Zari. They could just like sit next to each other and hack things. So, yeah. yeah. Who knows? <laughs> just a two-person buddy comedy. So, now that we do have Constantine and Nora are going to be around more often, how is Zari going to be around? You know, I, I'm, I'm not quite sure. 
but I do I do know that she and, and John are, are gonna butt heads a bit. Yeah, you know. Over you know, John just wants to send all of these magical creatures straight to hell and Zari is like, hold on, like some of these people are mis some of these creatures are misunderstood. Like we need to we 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 can't just be like indiscriminate cops being like everybody goes to it. So um, they're gonna butt heads. I don't know, I, I'm interested to see I'd love to work more with Courtney. Hey, Jess is gonna be to see. They made me, yes. they made me they do you me. want a Bebo hat? Yes, I want a Bebo hat. Oh my god, don't put it on. Oh god, it's so fluffy. Oh god, it's so fluffy. <laughs> I thought it had okay, like something you, scary it, on it. It, 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 it's, oh, it's okay. Come on. It's very well, cute. Should I it's wear it? Really I can't cute. wear it. For the it's universe. just gonna get full. It's okay. It's okay. I made, it's okay. I made the mistake. See, this is the love that we have on Legend. She looks out. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God for her. I, would be I want more scenes with her though. That's that's really that's my really, wish list. Well, you always say like a word to me and then roll your eyes and walk out of the room or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I am who I am. <laughs> I love the character. What do you think of the fan reaction of the I mean, I'm so grateful. You know, there are so many... So another person that I was chatting with was saying, was it intentional that she was so, like, hardened? And then, you know, they took, kind of took her hair down and they fell in love. And I, and I wanted it that way. Like, no one really liked her at the beginning. They were like, who is this? Who's this? this woman coming in trying to mess everything up? Um, and I, that was intentional, and I think it could have blown up in my face. So I'm glad that it didn't, because I love these guys so much. I'm so grateful to be... What's ahead? Well, so we've kind of committed, you know, the, I think the L word was dropped last season, so we're in love, and, and ultimately what I love about where we're going to go is we have these two powerhouse female characters running, like, bit. we built a Time Bureau set, it's gorgeous, it's like the West Wing in space, it makes me happy, it's I, have very beautiful. I have an office the size of this room, and I get to, you know, bounce around and have like, minions everywhere, and screens, and big emblems, you know, it's, it's kind of amazing, so running that, and then obviously Sarah's running Wave Rider, and you put that together, and then you try to find time to come home to each other and like make chicken cacciatore and there's just no time. There's no time. There's just no time. And what I love is, you know, we see this so much in television. We're not doing anything revolutionary here. Ultimately, in, in giving people strong jobs, but I think we always see a male, female, you know, the man works and now it's not 1950, the female characters are all written with really heavy jobs and a lot of power, but to have two women like that, you know, and then you add space and, and time Supernatural fugitives and time travel, and, and that's our show, and that's the show, and that's it. What is something that you learned from your character? Um, that's a good question. How to put nine donuts in your mouth at once? Because <laughs> I love that scene. I already knew how to do that, actually. Your character took that from her. How to eat so many donuts at once? Um, that's a good question. Do you know your answer? What have I learned? What have you learned from Ava? Um, I can say as an actor, you know, ultimately I think. The last character I played for a long time in a show. <laughs> the last character I played for a long time in a show. Constantine always messes everything up. Um, was very, was more in the vein of who I am, like physically and energy. And, you know, she was just more fun and more kind of out there and didn't care what anybody thought of her. And this, this, I really have to practice stillness. And so I think that's been leading through a lot of my life. Still, yeah. I took my hands behind my back. And it's very physically different. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The first two episodes, I was worried that it wasn't working. Yeah. It's great. Thanks, guys.